call hello, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Shalom to the house of David, double honors to the apostles of the great millstone, and citations to your brothers on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and righteousness and sincerity. Okay, basically, I just went to, you know, again to the topic, you know, how the Lord said, you know, he was going to give us um, a mouth that none of our adversaries are going to be able to gainsay. Okay, so I'm going to start with this scripture. All right, because, you know, hey, man, that, 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 that like, that, that's more proof, you know, that we are the, the men of the Lord, you know, and that, you know, the elders start, start with the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone on down, you know, like, you know, like we are the men of the Lord, you know, because we, the Lord gave us that, that, that mouth, you know, and that's why whenever, that's why whenever we out there teaching, you know, or, or we, we trying to edify anybody, you know, like a scoffer or somebody comes up, you know, they, they, they're not able to, to get one on us, you know, you know, they always go back being confounded, you know, they always end up being confounded because the spirit of the Lord. He said he was going to give us that, 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 you know, that mouth. All right. Now let me get that scripture. This is Luke chapter 21, verse 15. It says, for I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Okay. So the Lord said he'll give us a mouth and wisdom. Okay. Because that's, that's, that's the main key wisdom. All right. Which can only be given, um, um, by, by the Lord. You know, so he said he's going to give us a mouth and wisdom, which all our adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Gainsay meaning to speak against, you know, and that's why when these, these scoffers, these two thirds and these, these other people, they, they come up, they, they come up with all these bugged out different doctrines and stuff, you know, trying to, trying to, uh, you know, argue or, or make a point, whatever. They always end up being confounded because they can't speak against the truth. The scriptures say, um, you can't do anything against this truth, you know, but, but for the truth, roughly paraphrasing, you know, and what will happen is they'll probably end, they'll end up slipping up and confirming that this is the truth, you know, but that's the spirit of the Lord working, man. All right. And because the, because of the fact that, you know, they can't gainsay, uh, uh, yeah, because the fact that they can't gainsay and they can't come against what we're, what we're saying, because they, they know is the truth in their subconscious. They hate us for that, you know, and I'm going to get a, a quick precept on that, you know, um, you know, so they hate us for that because they're like, damn, man, that, that's the same thing what how Shai was doing. You know, he was he was he had that mouth too. And they couldn't they couldn't gain it. That's why they were like, damn man, what he's speaking is true, man. It's it's sharp, it's daggers, he's daggering us, you know, because everything he's saying is true. But you know, I mean like we we don't, we don't want to hear the truth, you know, like they they hate you because they know what you're saying is true. You know, and they know they can't do it, they can't say anything about it because they know it's true. Alright, now this is um Amos chapter five, verse ten. It says they hate him that rebuketh in the gate, all right? And that's why they hate us, because, you know, we, we, we speak we speak up for what's right. You know, we rebuke them, you know, for we tell them, we let them know they're going off. Like it says in Isaiah 58 and 1, uh, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, show my people their, their transgressions, roughly paraphrasing. You know, it says, it says, going on, it says, they hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. Okay, so they're, they're disgusted by us, they hate us because we speak the truth. You know, we speak up rightly and, 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 and the fact that we speak in the truth, they can't gainsay that. And so they hate us for that, you know, because they don't want to hear the truth. You know, that's, that's just our people. They don't want to hear the truth. You know, they don't, they don't want to know. They know what they're doing is wrong, but they just want to be told that, yo, it's okay to do what you're doing. Okay. This is Isaiah chapter 30, verse 10. It says, I start at nine. It says, this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Okay, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. All right, that's what they want. Okay, they want you to tell them everything is all good. That's why they they they, they fill up these churches and stuff. They want you to tell them everything is all good. You know, God is coming. To, you, you're saved. You, you well, if you think about that, it doesn't make any sense. You're saved. Okay, so so then. You know, Yahweh Shai, he's, he's a savior. He's coming to save us. So then that means when he comes and all that hell breaks loose, you, you, don't, you don't need no saving because you're already saved. Saved from what? You know, you, you ask somebody that, oh, I'm saved. Saved from what? You know, what? <laughs> that no hell breaking loose right now. So, I mean, like it hasn't, Jacob's trouble hasn't fully been set in effect yet. So what are you saved from? You know, but going on, yeah, this is, our people, they, they, they love being told lies and deceits and that's why amos 5 and 10 is so true because they hate us because we're not coming in that lying spirit we come in the, the spirit of truth you know and we letting them know what the truth is and because of that the lord has given us that you know luke 21 15 that 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 mouth that they can't gainsay which 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 you know obsessed them it, 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 
you know, it gets them because they know it's true and they know they can't say anything about it. All right. And, you know, uh, uh, um, one thing about that, too, a couple of days ago, you know, I was um, I was speaking to this, you know, uh, a friend of mine, you know, well, not really a friend, but, you know, uh, 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 an acquaintance. Basically, I was I was asking him, I was like, yo, so, you know, you do all this wickedness. It was a female. Right. So basically. I had seen a video, you know, on Instagram, whatever. She was, uh, uh, I think she was twerking or something, and, and you know, outside and all that with her friends, you know, that ratchet thing, you know. She's, uh, she, I, I think she's from the tribe Benjamin or so, but you know, all that stuff. And then I'm like, and then you know, her friends were edging her on, and like, hey, hey, let's go, let's go, you know. And then you know, I was like, um, I know, I brought it to her. I was like, yo, so you think that you know, uh, what you're doing is right and all that. And then you know, I, I basically got her to admit that what she's doing is wrong. And I asked her, so you believe, you think the Heavenly Father is happy with what you're doing? She's like, no. But then the thing about that is that they're going to end up doing it again, you know? And she and she said that, you know? She, she admitted it, like, yo, she knows it's wrong, and but she's still going to do it again. And the same thing happened a couple days ago, too. I was speaking to these other, these other, um, you know, uh, uh, Jake females, you know? And 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 uh, one of them was eating pork. I was like, yo, y'all eat this, man? Y'all really eat this? Y'all really eat pork? They were like, yeah, yo, it's mad good and all that. I'm like, yo. That's really, yeah, y'all not going to stop eating it? Like, nope. And then the girl just comes up out of nowhere. She's like, I love pork. I'm like, wow. That's crazy, you know? And I'm just like, yo. And they know, they know in the, that it's against the scriptures. So that's how you know, man. Our people know what they're doing, man. They know that it's against the scriptures. They know the Heavenly Father's against it, but they still do it. So at this point, just like, yo, that, that's how you see the spiritual block that the Father put on them. Because it's like, yo. We're telling you, we, we got you to admit you wrong. We letting you know what you're doing wrong. We're telling you you're wrong. You know you're wrong, but you're still doing it. They still coming in this wickedness. That's how you deal, yeah, man. That, that's how far people are going. Like, they know they're doing wickedness, but they're still doing it. All right, let me get this this this, this uh, uh, you know this precept real quick. Because, hey, man, that, but the scriptures talk about that. This is Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22. It says, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children. Sottish meaning stupid, you know. Um, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Which is why they can acknowledge a million times that what they're doing is wicked, but they're so wise to do it. That's all they do. And they have no knowledge in doing righteousness. That's, they, they don't even want to gain knowledge in doing righteousness. They don't care about righteousness. They don't care about what the Heavenly Father, what the Heavenly Father says. You know, that's the last thing on their list. You know, there's just abominations after after sins, after all that. That's 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 the checklist, you know. And that's why, um, you know, in the Apocrypha, uh, I think it's in the book of Baruch. It basically says the Lord said um, he didn't, you know, uh, 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 roughly paraphrasing. Basically, we we didn't end up in slavery and stuff like that because uh, for our destruction, but because we drove him to wrath. Okay, and how is that? By doing the same things that our people are doing today, you know, and they still doing it. That's why they need to taste the missiles because the Lord has punished you. He's put you into captivity after captivity after captivity. And this time it's just so bad that y'all doing the same thing. Y'all not even out of captivity. Y'all just doing it in captivity. So he's just going to have to destroy you, man, because that's the only way, you know, at this point, that's the only way, you know, as the, hey, man, that's, that's just what it is. But you know, I, you know, I know I kind of drifted off the topic a little bit, but you know, it's just, it's just, it's through the spirit, you know, because it's like, man, that's, that's, that's crazy, man. Like, man, it's just like, yo, that, that's, that's the point we at, man. But that's how you know Israel is Israel, you know, you know, but like, yeah, going back to the point, man, you know, the Lord gave us that mouth that no, none of our, our adversaries can gain say. That's why they get so upset, you know, when we bring out this truth, you know, cause they like, damn, man, yo. It's the truth, but I don't like it, you know. <laughs> it, you know, they can't swallow the pill, and so they get upset. You know, you know, they hate us for that. You know, but I just want to do that quick video, you know. The water, how about Shemi El Shai? Call lawyer, how about Shemi El Shai? For giving us that, that this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, for giving us that mouth, you know, to proclaim this truth, you know, to, to stand firm for the for the Lord, man. You know, and we come into that time where so we're gonna need that faith and we're gonna need that boldness to stand firm from the Lord, you know, and to endure unto the end. Okay, who shall fight for me? All right, we we gotta be those men, you know. We want to be part of the elect, Lord willing, we are the elect. We got we gotta got be ready, man. We gotta be ready to stand firm for the Lord and fight for Him, man. Okay, it's right or die, man. You know, we gotta be ready to die for the Lord, man. That's nothing, man. Okay, so you know, just keep fighting, man. We almost out of here, man. All hell's about to break loose real soon, you know. And, and yo, man, before you know, we'll be in the kingdom, man.
that's if you endure to the end. You know, so with that, I'm going to say Shalom.